efficiency, 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 efficiency. So, why change to LEDs? Well, almost 22% of the country's electricity is currently used for lighting, a roughly $50 billion per year cost to the U.S. consumer. We all want to save energy, and solid-state lighting has the potential to reduce that energy consumption by a factor of three to six times. An incandescent light bulb is about 6% efficient, and the Department of Energy is close to developing LEDs that are 50% efficient. In the future, LEDs may reach 70, 80, or even 90% efficiency. The Solid State Lighting Science Energy Frontier Research Center at Sandia National Laboratories collaborates with partners in industry and academia to work with LEDs to discover new ways to make them more efficient. I'm currently working on studying the defects in green light emitting diodes. And My main focus is on, uh, is on nanowires. If we're able to reduce the defect levels and defect, defect densities in green light emitting diodes, we will be able to improve white LEDs. Uh, nanowires have interesting properties that potentially could be used to uh, create future LEDs that are, uh, say, more efficient. Now I'm on the characterization end where what the results that I see help to influence the change in changes that the material scientists make. What I'm interested in are more like one-dimensional structures. Uh, these nanowires are nanorods. Um, where we actually grow, the device is actually made out of these wires instead of the uh, films. Being able to influence, you know, the, the fundamental materials properties is essential to improving or lighting in our case on a whole. It's hard to pass up an opportunity, I think, to, to work in an area where you can really change, um, you know, how we use light in the future. The strengths of the EFRC as opposed to um, individual researchers is that it brings together a team of scientists and support people, I think, with, who have pretty much the same common goal, uh, which in this case is improving solid state lighting. Looking at new materials or improving on what you have just gives you the opportunity to grow as a scientist.